<laughs> so, Engelbert, were, were you initially surprised then when, when you were contacted? I was yeah. very, very surprised uh, when uh, my son, who manages me, you know, yeah. he, he told me, he said that the BBC approached him and asked if I would represent the country in a song contest, and yeah. I, I thought it was a great honour, and I thanked them for their confidence in me, and uh, I'm going to do the best I can with, uh, yeah. with what I've got. And it's a great song, it really is a great song. Mm. It has great lyrics and a great melody. Actually, it can be uh, played with just str strings, and it's got such a strong melody, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a beautiful song, and I'm happy to sing it. Shall we hear it? Yeah, I think Let's we hear should it. Yeah, here we go, yeah. here we go. If you love someone, follow your heart, cause love comes once. If you're lucky enough, though I'll miss you forever, the hood will run deep. Only love can set you free. I love singing ballads. I love singing ballads, and yeah. this is my forte. And it's all in the performance, you know. And and come the night, I shall p perform it yeah. to the best. Yeah. It's that quality though that just stays with you. I mean, I just it just Matt does I'm, love it. I do. He's I'm been really, singing along. Really love it. Thank you. But you're, you're first up. We hear. Pardon me. Have you heard this? You're, that you're first up. Yes. How will you feel now singing first? Is that a good thing? What's that? I'm, I'm singing first. It did worry me at the beginning, but I think. The first one out to shoot, you know, it's like a horse race. Yeah. Uh, you got to stay in front, and mm. uh, I'm going to try and do that as much as I possibly can. And uh, uh, I think it's a good thing. Yeah. I think it's a good thing. It is a good thing. Up front, thing. yeah. Well, the last time that we went first, it was Brotherhood of Man with Save All Your Kisses for Me, and they won, so it could be a good omen. It could be a good omen. Might yes. be, possibly. I hope so. Oh, it will yes. be. Well, we're going to talk be. more anyway, as we go, obviously. So okay. Yeah. And we go. And all your fans are behind you, aren't you? Yeah. They know he can do it. They know he can do it. It's yeah. something that you, you really indulge yourself in. I think it's yeah. great. I think. Uh, uh, when you've got a big range, like I have a big range, about mm. three and a half octaves, and when I go down low, it it it, it adds a, a sort of a sense of sexy sound to your voice. Yeah. You know? yeah. But you were telling us that you've never had a singing lesson. I have never had a singing it's lesson. Incredible. And they've chosen somebody for this contest without a singing <laughs> lesson. <laughs> I'm sure that's that's the case. It's happened you know? a few years before. But it's well. it, you know <laughs> I've had a lot of experience. Oh, you know well, I've worked yeah. all over the world and yeah. and uh, di played to different nationalities. The great, the great part about my job is. If I go and play in Russia and the people that don't speak the language very much, and when I, I start singing my song, they sing along with me. Really? Now, how do they know the That's song? Incredible. I don't know. I mean, you've had a massively successful career. You've sold over 150 million records, yeah. which is incredible. But it was quite tough at the beginning, though, wasn't it? There was 10 years when it was pretty tough. Yeah, it took, it took a long time to, to get there. You know, I, I worked little clubs and, and places in and around the country. and gaining experience you know and, and it was a it was a wonderful apprenticeship i think it was worthwhile yeah and i hope it uh, it it will show uh, oh. during this this performance at uh, yeah. baku but du during those tough times did you not think maybe it is time to get a singing lesson no <laughs> <laughs> no i i, I uh, the funny thing is, you know, I, I went to a lot of auditions and i had for shows i had auditions, yeah, yeah. auditions and i i had a lot of uh, thank you, uh, you know, we'll call you, yeah, you know. Yeah. I had many of that, but I never gave up because I thought the first condition of communication is the willingness to take rejection. Yeah, sure. And I, I took many a rejection in my life, but mm. I kept knocking on the door until it opened. And lots of the success was down to the fact that you did change your name to Engelbert Henderson. I changed Henderson. my name. It was, it was all due to my first manager, Gordon Mills, you know, who was a, uh, he had a great foresight about, about, you know, making you a big star and yeah. one thing and another. And, and he did uh, change my name uh, when he first told me. I thought it was a group, it was so long. But did, And did you think it would work? Did you think it would work? I, I don't... Listen, when you're a starving musician, a starving singer, they can give you any Harry blogs and you'll sure. take it, you know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, Engelbert Humperdinck proved to be uh, worthwhile. They, people joked about it. They called me Pumpernickel and Humpy Dumpy and this and that, you know. Uh, I, I mean, even uh, when I, I talk, I uh, use this name, Dean Martin, you know, when I used to have dinner with him a lot, he never called me Engelbert or Ange. Yeah. He yeah. always called Did me Humpy Did you ever meet anybody when you first became famous who made you starstruck? Oh, I, I, uh, a lot of people. Uh, I, think, I think one of the nicest people I met when I first started was Frankie Vaughan. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah. Frankie Vaughan yeah, was yeah. one of the greatest human beings I've ever come across in my life. Yeah. And I think I took a lot of uh, lessons from watching him work. Yeah. He was the greatest professional, great professional man. Uh, and I think the other person whom I learned a great deal from was Elvis, when watching him work, because mm. the man had humility, he had charm, he, had, he was charismatic, he was... Yeah. Yeah. No, you are. Are. How are you going to school yourself for the next two months before Eurovision? Well, I've got, I've got about eight concerts to do oh. uh, prior to the, to the contest, yeah. so I'm going to put Love Will Set You Free in my show and learn it and like the back of my hand. Brilliant. Oh. <laughs> Love See, it. Good preparation there. Well, we'll all be behind you. Thank on you very much. Of May, won't Indeed. We? Can he do it? Thanks, you all. He can do it. Thank you. Yes, isn't it? That's tremendous.